hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel plan 3d tutorial and this is the fourth part of our e3d tutorial series and today we'll be learning about how to model standard pumps in e3d software and before this if you haven't watched the part 1 2 and 3 then i recommend you to watch the previous parts so that it is easy for you to understand the software so let us begin this video without wasting any more time i have already opened my e3d software and here is our sample project of Aveva and this is the pump which we have to model actually there are two pumps which we have to model I will model this pump and using the same procedure you can model the other pump okay so let us model this pump this is uh, you can see that the pump tag is given here and I hope you have downloaded this uh, sample project by the link provided by me and still if you haven't I'll put the link in my description you can download by clicking on the link so here is our pump and the pump tag is given here actually there are two pumps of the same uh, same dimensions and type one is p1501a and 501b so let us model this this is a centrifugal pump with horizontal inlet and vertical outlet okay you can see that n1 is suction this is n1 and n2 is discharge this is n2 and the dimensions are given here so let us go back to e3d and this is our site and zones and we have to model our pump in the equipment zone so i'll click on the equipment zone then you have to click on the equipment tab and after this you have to click on this equipment and previously we have used equipment and sub equipment for by using the primitive method now we are using the standard method i'll click on standard here you can see this tab there are like if you scroll up you have to type in the name first what is the tag p1501a slash s1 and p1501b slash s1 so p1501a slash s1 as our rule we are following a prefix of e3d underscore e3d okay the name we have given next you select the pump there are two ways to select the pump one is by selection table and other is by specification so when you click on the selection table here under this you can see that there are different standards like plant equipment Iweva standard equipment and advanced equipment and here uh, after that we have the type so if you want pumps click on the pumps and wherever you click if you scroll here you can see the type the pump it displays so which is the closest pump you want you can select it okay and other method is by using the specification and in specification we have different catalogs like Aveva standard Aveva advance okay so if you click on standard this is by just the sorting of the equipments so need not worry about that and next you have to select the standard pumps if you want heat exchangers you can select heat exchangers shell and tube horizontal vertical the horizontal one which we have modeled you can also model by using this standard equipment okay so we'll go back to pumps so standard pumps then we have different types of pumps here like centrifugal inline turbine and diaphragm we want a centrifugal pump so i'll click on centrifugal pumps and next we have the center line mounted centrifugal pumps i'll click on that under that you can see that there are again a different list of pump displayed here like horizontal inlet vertical outlet then we have center line mounted pump whenever you click on that pump you can see the display of that so i'll just go back what i want is horizontal inlet and a tangential outlet see here it is displayed center line mounted tangential offset so i'll select that and you can also display the properties where you can change the dimensions here you can see that it is similar to what we want uh, as per our drawing so we will select this pump and modify it by giving the different dimensions okay so you can see the graphical interface of the pump and you can zoom in zoom out by using the scroll button and this corresponding dimensions are displayed here so a is length of the base plate so let us enter that first what is the length 1390 so I'll enter 1390 then what is B B is I think given here okay. B is 510 so 510 then C 
C is the center distance of the nozzle till the edge of this base plate and if you see here it is given as 154 154 D distance to the suction nozzle I'll zoom in and this is the distance to the suction nozzle that is the dis uh, distance between the two nozzles so I'll go back here zoom out and see that that distance is 155 so D is 155 E distance bottom to CL e is this distance from the nozzle till the bottom so E is 340 340 it is already 340 then F F is distance nozzle height F from like height of the nozzle so this is 180 it is already 180 fine then G is suction nozzle to coupling G is from the suction nozzle till this coupling so is this similar yes 545 and we have to give it as 545 H outside diameter discharge where is H H is here outside diameter of the discharge so I think it is not given we have to check by using the size of this nozzle 300 uh, uh, the discharge nozzle is 50 NB and what is the OD of a 50 NB pipe it will be 60.3 so let us enter 60.3 for H 60 fine we will enter 60.3 then distance uh, distance to nozzle j ok this distance of the discharge so what is that it is 135 so I will change it to 135 and I will click on ok ok we have set the properties and next you have to click on apply now it is asking me the to give in the position like where I have to place the pump position equipment origin ok here you can there are different methods to select like element if you select any element you can place directly there peak point or p line or the different method like just graphical selection element and the standard and the most useful method will be this explicit position when you click on this it will ask the position where you have to place the pump as you know I am placing all the elements at the zero uh, zero origin and I will be moving it at the last stage to the different position by seeing our sample project to this positions for now I will just keep it as zero and click on apply so here is our pump so you can see that it has been created as per the dimensions we have given so if you want you can just verify by using this measure tool from this till this it is 1390 as we have entered see here 1390 and you can if you want you can verify all the dimensions and you can see here if you expand this it is a template then same primitives have been used the only thing is we don't have to individually model the primitives it is already available in the standard okay so so next we will just close this and next like if you if you have modeled this pump and if you want to modify the pump so you have to go to equipment then you can see this modify option keep the selection on the pump and click on standard and you can see that it, the pump has been displayed and you can click on properties and enter the properties for example if I enter 2000 here and click on apply you can see that the distance has been increased so I don't want that I'll undo and close this tab okay so this is how you modify modify the pump if you want it is not only pump but any standard equipment which you want to modify you have to select that as standard equipment and click on modify and next we'll change this nozzle size if you see here the suction is 100 NB and the discharge is 50 NB of 300 pounds each so we, what the procedure to change the nozzle size of the nozzle remains the same as we have followed here so like you have to select the nozzle and use this modify tab here on the ribbon bar and select the nozzle so we'll select the nozzle so either you can select the nozzle by expanding this hierarchy and clicking on nozzle 1 and nozzle 2 or uh, let me close this 
or you can right click near this nozzle and click on navigation and you can see that it is telling either you select the equipment or the nozzle and I'll click on nozzle so it has selected the nozzle N1 so there are two methods to select the nozzle and N1 is the suction and the size is 100 NB so I'll go here modify modify nozzle and I'll enter the details like specification ANSI nozzle what type of nozzle I'll give it as 300 pounds ANSI flange 100 NB height is uh, let me check the height height is 155 this is already correct and I think we have already given in the properties of the of the equipment so we do not change that and rest all remains the same and I'll click on next and our nozzle has been updated and I'll close this once and next you have to select this just right click here it will get selected skip and like for example if you want to know the size of this uh, nozzle existing nozzle you can just enter the command Q para after selecting the nozzle and it has shown that it is 50 size so the size of the discharge should be 50 and 300 pounds let me see if the ratings are correct and click on the nozzle and modify this specification is ANSI nozzle I'll take and 300 pounds and the size is 50 okay rest all remains the same and I'll click on next and I'll close this and our pump is ready so we have modeled the pump with the overall dimensions and as well as the nozzle sizes so this is how you make a standard pump so coming to the next pump uh, this I expect you people to model it the only thing difference is you have to select a different pump for example when I go here I'll just show you which pump to select go into standard get into like uh, specification Aveva standard click on standard pumps and it is like vertical inlet and vertical discharge so we'll go into centrifugal and here you can see that vertical nozzles okay let us see if it is the same I'll click on properties let's see this yes this looks the similar pump okay and let's see we have one more vertical pump vertical centrifugal pump let us vertical offset nozzle so if you go into properties you can see that this is also similar the only difference is the nozzles are offset see here uh, when I scroll this inlet and outlet is offset by L in our drawing the nozzles are offset so you have to select this offset pump I hope you understand and just enter these values what uh, whatever is displayed in the drawing and you can model the pump so guys this is how you model a standard equipment or a standard pump in E3D and I'm making this videos as simple as possible and still if you are not able to understand and if you have any doubts then please comment in the comment section so that I will clarify your doubts and please like this video subscribe to my channel and share this videos with your friends and I'll catch you up in the next video till then take care and goodbye